My name is Nell and I'm from Germany. Today I want to show you how I made this artwork out of plaster. This is basically about the technique of how to create such a work of art without unsightly getting cracks. Let's get right into it. I used the prime canvas in the size 50 by 70 centimeters, but you can also use a wooden board for it. First, draw a shape on your canvas with a pencil. I have drawn here a shape that reminds of a flower or a starfish. You can also draw waves or certain patterns that will be worked out later with plaster. The plaster that I used is called ultralight filler or joint compound. This plaster contains fillers that make the surface quite smooth. There will be no cracks, but later more to the materials are used. When mixing, it is very important to stick to the mixing ratios. You should always add the plaster to the water and not the other way around. You should mix the mess well so that there are no lumps. Now we begin to apply the plaster with the painting spatula. Here you orientate yourself by your pre-drawn form. Make sure to spread the plaster well so you work your way to your shape piece by piece. The putty has a long drying time of about 60 minutes. That means you have enough time for your artwork. Here you can see again how I smoothed the plaster with the painting spatula. You see I tried to work out the edges nicely. These give a plastic 3D effect at the end. With the brush, which you moisten with water, you now smooth the form, which you have applied from plaster. So we are now working piece by piece on the drawn shape on our canvas. Now you can already see how the 3D shape is worked out. The edges are nice and smooth and also the sides. Then I repeat the steps and smooth everything with the brush. The next step is to let your artwork dry completely. This can take anywhere from a day to two days depending. Then I apply plaster again along the shape and the edges. Here it is important again to paint everything nice and smooth. Now you begin to spread the plaster on your canvas. Make sure to work accurately so that everything is smooth. You can also do this step right at the beginning and then draw your shape. I let everything dry well again, but I was not quite satisfied with the shape at that point. Therefore, I applied another layer of the plaster putty. You can apply as many layers as you like. It's up to you, but before you apply a new layer, make sure that the previous layer is completely dry. And in the end, don't forget to smooth everything out with a damp brush. Here you can see the backside of the canvas, which I also painted with the filler. I recommend you to do the step right at the beginning. Hello! <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, it's my first time speaking in front of the cam, so uh, I try to do my best, okay? <laughs> uh, this one is the plaster I'm using. Okay. It's also called Ultra Light Filler. Um, this one is really great to make some structure art with giving no cracks on the surface. After it's dry enough, I now can sand it down with a normal buffer for nails. 
Don't skip the sanding step. Be sure that the edges are nice and straight and no unevenness is left. You should remove the sanding dust completely after sanding. Please wear a good mask when sanding. Now I mix a paste of 2 tablespoons of raisin, it's also called normal plaster, a good tablespoon of water, Two tablespoons of wood glue, and one tablespoon of acrylic paint. Be sure to mix the paste very well so there are no lumps. Here you can see the consistency of the paste. It should be very creamy, but still easy to spread. Now I paint the whole picture with the paste. Make sure that you spread everything well. You can repeat this process several times. I recommend to apply at least two to three layers of the raisin mixture. Finally, you can seal everything with a matte or glossy varnish. I wish you a lot of fun creating such a plaster artwork. If you have any questions, please write me a comment. About a subscribe and like I would be very happy. Stay tuned for my next long video tutorial. See you next time!